90 years old and the survivor of both the Holocaust and COVID-19. A heck of a story. It's this morning's Bright Spot. Here's Maggie Sliz with more as she introduces us to a New York woman. Good morning, Maggie. Good morning, Tim. Good morning, everyone. She's won another fight. I mean, this is just a story that you don't hear every day. So really excited to share it with you. Here is Jody Goldberg with more on this remarkable survivor and some reaction from her loved ones. Gita Shore will tell you it feels good to be back. On Thursday, she received a warm welcome home from her family and the staff at the Bristol and East Northport. As cases of coronavirus started to spread throughout New York in March, the 90-year-old had no choice but to spend her birthday in quarantine. Less than two months after, she tested positive for COVID and fought for her life. I've been through hell and I've been through it. Her recovery wasn't easy, but neither was her life. She lost her parents and four siblings in the Holocaust. Her family was forced into the Warsaw Ghetto when she was nine, and then she was transported to the Auschwitz and Bergen-Belsen concentration camps. She proudly points to the tattoo on her arm to remind people of why she's the ultimate survivor. I really feel like she's a hero. My, my superhero, for sure. Two of her three children who welcomed her back are relieved she had the strength to pull through. We didn't think she was going to make it, and uh, here we are. She has pulled me through many obstacles along the way, and she's always been there for me, and there's no reason why I wouldn't be there for her. Um, it was so important that she made it. As for Gita, she says she's blessed and has a lot more living to do. If I went to this, I will go to everything. Jody Goldberg. Wow, just a remarkable woman and what a story she has to share. And she's been through so much. And again, not just a morning bright spot, but a source of inspiration, strength and perseverance. You know, you can get through anything, Tim. Yes, and just therefore it's a good source of perspective as well. That's why it's a great story, Maggie. Thank yes. you so much.